from Indonesia. Welcome. And uh, Elvia has received her master's degree in chemistry from Chemistry Department Institute Technology, Bandung. Her research is about isolation of medicinal plants and their activities. She joined Natural Product Research Group of Institute of Technology Bandu. Now she is still carrying out doctoral program in in this institute and uh, currently work with uh, isolation of secondary metabolites from endophytic fungi. I'm a student from uh, Institute of Technology Bando, Indonesia. This time I will talk about the uh, secondary metabolites of endophytic fungi from Morus plant. Uh, Morus or Morbae or Mulberry is a genus from a family Moraceae. Uh, it uh, consists of about uh, 60 genera and uh, nearly 1,500 1, species including uh, important genera such as uh, Ficus and uh, Artocarpus. Morus also widely distributed in uh, Asia, Africa, and America. About 15 species uh, can grow in uh, Indonesia. And this uh, genus uh, also high uh, economical value. For example, in industry, the leaf uh, is known as a, a sequence uh, food and uh, wood can be used as a building materials, while the fruit as a juice, natural dyes, even a cosmetics. The root, uh, uh, besides the known in industry, uh, more also known in as a traditional medicine. For example, the root uh, can be as an anti-diabetic or to treat arthritis, uh, while the bark uh, can be used as a diuretic, expectorant, and asthma, and the leaf, uh, uh, is believed to treat the headaches and stomach pain. Uh, Morse plants uh, are reported to have a lot of uh, variety of uh, secondary metabolites. For example, uh, finally compounds like flavonoid, uh, chalcon, flavon, flavonol, flavonol, flavon, and flavonol, uh, nerysteban, ribozofran, daffodils, alder, sometimes uh, coumarin, and uh, non phenyl compounds such as uh, terpenoid. This is a few of uh, compounds that isolated from morus plant. Um, it is uh, grouped as a steel band, um, and then two other zofran, flavonoid, including flavonol, talcon, and this is uh, special because it's a uh, daffodils other. Uh, this is more from uh, secondary multiplies from morus has a unique uh, signation pattern and uh, granulation pattern. Uh, a few of them also isolated from a uh, culture plant. Uh, for example, Mura Chalcon A, Isoloka Chalcon, or Chalcon Resin. And all show the interesting biological uh, activity. For example, as an anti uh, oxidant, anti inflammation, anti tumor, or uh, active in cancer P388. Um, source of the secondary metabolites. Uh, is obtained from uh, natural plants and plant cultures. But uh, another method to get the secondary metabolite is uh, from endophytic fungi. This is uh, fungi lives in the tissue of a uh, uh, plant. And uh, a report about the endophytic fungi from Morris is reported by Cheng. It is the title is the form of activity of endophytic Endophyte cuts of Morus alba against hyperpathogenic fungi, but the phytochemical study has not been conducted before. So uh, I, I try to study the phytochemistry of endophytic fungi, especially in Indonesia, uh, but Morus katayana and Macrora, and examine the bioactivity of secondary metabolites. But this is uh, for the B3A cell. So the methodology is uh, uh, divided into step. First is preparation, and the second is solution, structure, determination, and cytoxy assay. The Morus plant is uh, uh, 
uh, nucleation and then uh, the potential of the fungi is uh, identified to give the entity and then scale up, scale up to uh, give a large scale and extraction to get the extract and within the fractionation and purification to get pure compounds. The structure is determined by spectroscopic analysis and the back PPT used as in the cyclp 38A cell. Um, the exact preparation of endophytic fungi uh, after incubation, I filtrate the uh, fungi to get the mycelia and media and metal extract uh, obtained from mycelia while the ethyl acid extract from the media. Um, this is uh, simple because I only use a uh, column chromatography and this is a radial chromatography um, to get the pure compounds and I determine the structure by NMR and MS. And this is a few from uh, endophytic fungi. Um, uh, actually, I got more than this, but this is a, a few. Uh, Morus cationa and the uh, front cell of uh, Morus macrora. This is a uh, root part um, from uh, Morus cationa. Uh, I got a lot of uh, Endophytic fungi from the root and stem, but uh, I only determine uh, only determine to <coughs> uh, fungi. This is a color mixes for many e from root Morus cationa, and this is a Silaria from uh, Morus macrora. Um, this is a, a fungi as one from the stem of Morus cationa. Uh, I try to. The TLC, the fungi, I got many compounds in TLC. So I take the ethyl acid extract, the methanol, and found that ethyl acid show uh, active. So I extract the compounds. Uh, this is the uh, compound one, two, and uh, three. And compound one and two is uh, active against uh, urine leukemia p 8 a cell. But the M3, the quantity is too small. so. I, I've been working to isolate again the safe compound. And second frontal Mrs. Wormani is the uh, beantroquinone, and this is the uh, worktin is sclerotrin uh, derivatives. Uh, I take the at the acid extract and the methanol is uh, not active, but I get to compound uh, spirin and wormin, and uh, yes, uh, the SCVC show is not active. But the uh, report is about spirin. Uh, this compound active against uh, CHO, uh, Chinese hamster ovary, and uh, can be as an antimicrobe. This is a uh, cytokalasin derivative. I saw this is the uh, same compound with the uh, acetylcholine say presentation yesterday. Um, I also got the cytokalasin. This is the 1920 epoxy cytokalasin C. Uh, 1920 epoxy cytoplasm Q and 18 dioxy 1920 epoxy cytoplasm Q. Uh, as uh, Brady did, uh, this uh, compound very, very active. Uh, uh, I mean, the extra. So I take, uh, I select three compounds and uh, show a very active under 0.1 microgram per milliliter. And another report about this compound is uh, by Chen. Uh, they said that uh, this robot is a uh, weak uh, active against MCR7 and uh, MCRH460. While uh, this uh, show uh, mild active uh, against MCR7, SF268, and MCRH460, and can be as a fungicida. Um, uh, the conclusion is I got uh, uh, three uh, fungi, there's only three. Uh, then I got the uh, compound one, MM1, MM2, and MM3, and two non compounds uh, from Thalaromyces Wotmani, Wotmani, and Skiri, where the three epoxy stocalysin, and uh, uh, the extract is uh, the most active is from Celeria. Uh, from this result, it showed that endophytic finding from Morus Crane are microorganisms that can be a trusted source of various chronic metabolites. I uh, was thanks to the Professor Takashi Sugita for the and then they need identification, then a scholarship for uh, the, the for doctoral program. This is a, a rainforest in a Sumatra Island that I want to say is a endophytic fungi. In the in the one tree is a contain a lot of endophytic fungi, and endophytic fungi can produce many many 
secondary metabolites. So I believe uh, it is a very potential work with NLPT finally. And uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for my presentation. But what about the media? Have you grown the panja in a single billion? What that media? What media you use for the growth? Oh uh, yeah, uh, potato dextrose uh, agar for the solid media and a potato dextrose broth uh, media, a liquid media. But PDA potato dextrose. Okay, so have you applied any culturing condition? Uh, uh, I use. Uh, uh, you mean the incubation? Culture in condition like uh, temperature, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. heat shock. I use uh, no, I use uh, 28, de 28 degrees incubation for two weeks. Then I uh, filtrate <laughs> uh, to 28 degrees incubate incubation uh, so for have two you weeks. Observe any difference in the mycelia in broth media? Have you separately extracted the broth in mycelia or collectively the whole media? Uh, I I'm, uh, I make uh, 5 liter. Yeah, I got it, but have you extracted the whole media or yes, separated yes, yes, the yes. mycelia from broth? Uh, yes, uh, from mycelia I got the methanol extract huh? and uh, from media I got, I got the ethyl acetal extract huh? and I check all the activity. You show the free Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Can I see the first one? Yes, I'm interested in the group. You ask about the... You're asking, you know, I, I, I read one like this compound, like uh, terpene, or terpene is SD, mm -hmm. probably this is S terpene. The car won't interesting for me. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Um, yeah, how, how yeah. is this compound? Yeah, yeah. I uh, actually for MMD, um, um, I, I need to take uh, I, uh because uh, it's a small quantity, even I, I can't determine the stereochemistry, so I now can't be. Uh, isolate again and uh, check the compounds because uh, uh, I got only about 1.8 milligram. Uh, I will check the 2D animal. So you have not determined the details not yet? Uh, not yet, but uh, this is uh, it's okay. Uh, are you a student or a student, right? Yes. Uh, your slide, beautiful. Hmm? First, your slide is very yeah. clear and very beautiful. Did you, yeah. did you make by yourself? Yeah, I, I read it by myself. Beautiful. Anyway, very clear around, uh, very, how to say, to work very well. To understand very well. But, uh, you know, uh, in natural form chemistry, right? Mm -hmm. How much is she said to us, Harry? How much did you use? Okay? And how much did you isolate your compound? Okay? Activity is right, no problem. Oh. But how much? Mm -hmm. right? I, we, of course, we many people tend to, uh, you know, <laughs> to check, you yeah. analyze, and so on. So that way, in, in, in my case, so always I ask to the you know, uh, the uh, authors, could you please, they forgot, I don't know, so you forgot maybe how much did you use in plant case or in you know, some animal case, how much first, and then how much, okay, food extract obtained, and then after how much fraction obtained, then after how much pure compound of the Okay. Oh, so yeah. my question is, how much did you use? How much? Totally. And then extract, how much did you get the food extract? And then to isolation, procedure, probably carbon photography, and so on, so on. And how much did you isolate the major compound? What is that? 
Non è il compagno. Per quale interesse gli altri sono compagni?